Aw, yeah. See what I did with the title there? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Switchcraft, and it's a great day to be a gamer. Today, we have the conspiracy theory to end all conspiracy theory. Global warming, the Illuminati, and 9-11 truthers got nothing on this. Best of all, it gives us some unreleased and very specific information on the newest generation Pokemon 8 coming out this fall. Watch this. It all started with a seemingly harmless tweet of a screenshotted Weedle in Pokemon Go by Junichi Masuda on Valentine's Day in Japan. Here's the screenshot now. What the heck could that possibly tell us? Well, let's break it down bit by bit. I'll be using the article on Nintendosoup.com as a reference point, and they did a great job of putting together all of the translated and summarized information. I definitely had to get this news out there. First. I'll draw your attention to the combat power and weight of the wheel in question. Real Life Pokemaniac said that they refer to Pokedex number 199 Slowking and number 416 Vespiqueen, therefore deducing that a Gen 8 game will be called Pokemon King and Pokemon Queen. Alternatively, some have speculated that the length of the Weedle refers to Pokedex entry number 33 Nidoran, whose final evolution is Nidoking. That's one big stretch, but so is this whole upload. Next, and I've talked about this in previous videos, and it's now widely believed that Pokemon King and Queen will officially be announced on February 26, 2019. They get this from Weedle evolving into Beedrill, where B sounds similar to the number 8 in Japanese, or Gen 8. And the 226 Weedle candies is a hint at a February 26 date, obviously February 27th in Japan, due to time zones, which is obviously Pokemon Day. Now, we really gotta get our Stretch Armstrongs out for this next one. But if you look at the amount of Stardust, we have 2,351,714. So, according to Godly Beast 97 on Twitter, if you add 2, 3, 5, and 1, you get 11. And if you add 7, 1, and 4, you get 21. Next, if you look at the weight being 4.16 kilograms and it being extra large, we can expect an extra large gameplay trailer on April the 16th. So, to summarize, from that seemingly innocent picture of a Weedle, the next Generation 8 Pokemon games will be titled King and Queen, they'll be announced on February 26th in North America, February 27th in Japan, we'll have a release date of November 21st, and that we'll get a massive gameplay trailer on April the 16th. Geez, I'm more flexible just talking about that massive stretch, but a couple of holes in this theory, if I may. First of all, why would the Japanese Game Freak director talk about an announcement date of the 26th in North America when it'll be the 27th in Japan, especially if the tweet was in Japanese? Secondly, does it make sense to have a Thursday release date? Don't these massive titles and games usually get released on Fridays? No shifting or accounting of time zones could make up for that. And lastly, why would a director at Game Freak even hint at this information in the first place? Well, the thing is that he's done it before, specifically hinting at Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu before they were ever officially announced, before we even knew the names of them. But what do you think? Do you buy this conjecture dreamed up by Pokemon fans with too much time on their hands, reading too much into a damn Weedle screenshot? or? May the massive Maverick director at Game Freak be at it again, hinting at information we don't currently have. Time will tell for certain, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Either way, thanks for watching. It's a great day to be a gamer. Switchcraft out.